Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk about how it's important to keep an open mind when it comes to our opinions and our ideas. So recently I was messaging back and forth with a loved one and as I usually do, I sent this person a link to a current events video. And as soon as this person read the, the title of the video, they just responded, I doubt it. And the person didn't even open the video because of the person's already preconceived ideas about what they thought the message was or what the facts were. They didn't even bother to look into another source. They just said, oh, this title says this, I doubt it. And so I'm bringing up this um, brief story and example because I just want to, to say that it's so important when we see something that may challenge our beliefs or hear something that may challenge our beliefs, especially if it's delivered by somebody we respect, care about, no. It's important to try to keep the paths of communication open. It's important to try to keep an open mind about new ideas. And and by keeping an open mind to new ideas, that means not seeing a title to an article or video and just quickly saying, no thanks, I doubt it. Nope. <laughs> because what that does is it shuts down any way to learn something new, to, to get that other person's perspective, that other person's opinion not only is it doing a disservice to that person, they don't want to, to hear about any kind of diverging views, but it does a disservice to the person who sent that. Because what we can do when we send each other articles or um, videos about current events, we can exchange ideas, we can bounce, bounce around different beliefs, different things we've learned, why we believe those things, why we don't believe those things. We can challenge each other. We can try to keep each other up to date with new views, new ideas, new perspectives, new, new avenues to find out information. But when we just totally cancel out somebody's, um, say, article or video, we are totally being closed-minded. We're closing a door. We're closing the door to discussion, to debate, to new views. We're being closed-minded. We're being, we are staying in the dark, which essentially is staying ignorant. And the goal is to be always trying to learn, always trying to understand the truth, always trying to understand the facts, to keep our minds malleable to new ideas and new opinions. That keeps us always learning. So I want to end with this. I just want to plant a seed and that seed is, please don't just miss, dismiss new ideas. Please don't just dismiss, say an article that a friend or loved one sends to you. Just because we don't like the headline doesn't mean we should just shut down. <laughs> because when we do that, we are saying that we want to remain in the dark to other belief systems, 
other ideas, other opinions. Remember, we are always changing until the day we die. So let's all try to keep an open mind. As much as we may not like what an article or, or say short video says, that article and short video that somebody sends us gives us the opportunity to understand where they're coming from so we can have a healthy discussion with them as to why we disagree, agree, or why we see we don't see eye to eye. Looking into what somebody sends us gives us that opportunity to learn something and understand why we further believe what we believe or it gives us an opportunity to expand what we believe or even change what we believe. And if the other person is open-minded, it also gives us a chance to help them rethink their beliefs. Let's not close the door to new ideas and opinions. Let's keep the door open. It gives us the ability to have discussions and sometimes healthy arguments. And if we're not great at communicating, <laughs> unhealthy arguments, but, but either way, we learn and we move on, we grow, we change. And, and, that's, and that's life. And that's healthy. So I challenge you all to try and keep an open mind to new ideas and opinions. I'll do that. Please join me in that. And that's where I'll end this video today. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, bye.